Hello and welcome. This is CSI's how-to video on the disassembly, servicing, and reassembly of the TrueClean Airblow check valve. Let's get into the servicing of this part. First, why is servicing important? Well, you want to make sure that you don't have any leaks, but most of all you want to make sure that there's no product contamination. The Airblow check valve has three O-rings that you'll have to switch out. The tools needed will be a 5 16 nut driver, second a small flathead screwdriver, and third you will need an O-ring pick. Let's begin by making things a little easier on herself by removing the actuator. The actuator can be removed with your nut driver by the two bolts lying on the top. Now that the actuator has been removed, it's time to remove the main stem. The main stem is held in place by a retaining clip at the top. This retaining clip has a V cut, so to remove it, all we will do is press it down and then push it over. The spring and the guide come out right from the top, and the main stem can be pulled out of the bottom. With the main stem removed, it's time now to remove the air coupling. The air coupling is held in place by two bolts here and here, and it comes off as so. Next we're going to take our air coupling apart. Let's take our body and set it off to the side. We'll get back to it later. The stem inside of the air coupling is held in place once again by a V-cut retaining clip. We're going to use our screwdriver and we're going to press in just on the inside of this retaining clip. By pressing it down and rotating it out, the clip will fall down inside the body. We can pull the spring out and when we pull the stem out, the clip comes as well. Now that we have everything disassembled, we can see all the serviceable O-rings. We have one in the air coupling stem. We have another on the base of the air coupling body. Finally, we have an O-ring that is placed right here on the inside of our body. This is the O-ring that rides against the main stem. Now let's remove these O-rings. We're going to grab our O-ring pick, dig right in behind our O-ring, and it showed pull right out. Now that everything is disassembled, we have a good opportunity to check and make sure that our o-ring grooves are free of debris, scratches, and altogether are cleaned up. We're going to replace the old o-rings with new ones. We're going to replace the main stem that comes in the service kit. And we're going to put all this back together. The assembly is identical to the disassembly. We're going to begin by placing our O-rings in all of their areas. It's time to put the air coupling back together. First we're going to grab our body and our stem, placing the stem on the underside of the body. Please note that the stem is self-centering, which helps whenever you go to place a spring in. We're going to grab our retaining clip and we're going to slide it right underneath the lip of the stem. Next, we're going to reattach the air coupling to the body using the two bolts we removed earlier. Now we're going to put our main stem in. The stem is going to be placed through the hole at the bottom of the body. Our guide goes on next then the spring, and our retaining clip. And finally, placing the actuator back on with our two bolts. So let's tighten down the bolts to the actuator, making sure they are secure. We'll give it one more look over. You can see that the springs and retaining clips are in place and operating fine. The main stem has a good seat against the body, and with that, our service is complete. So if you have any more questions or you need more information, please call CSI at 417-831-1411.